Hi, I'm Annette King from the International Dermal Institute and what we're going to do here today is to show you some really easy to do massage movements that you can do at home. On your loved one, on a friend, it's definitely not on yourself. <laughs> so let's get started with some massage movements. So we're going to actually start out by brushing the skin and body brushing is a great technique to start the blood circulation on the body and also to help to detoxify the skin to a degree. So if you ever have any of those little um, pimples on the skin, actual name for those is keratosis pilaris, they're like little tiny pimples actually normally caused by salt in the diet and perspiration on the skin. This really helps to get rid of them. But the brush is a nice way to prepare the skin and prepare the body before massage. And I'm just splitting the spine, if you like, and brushing on one side, out, down the actual arms, up on the back of the arms, and then on the other side. I'm brushing out and warming the skin before we go in with some massage movements. Next, you wanna apply a great massage oil and try and use one that's got a natural base like hazelnut or avocado or almond oil. You really don't wanna use a mineral oil or a baby oil for massage. It's really not very healthy on the skin. And look for one with essential oils that are calming and soothing, like lavender and chamomile and rosemary. This one also has a lang and lang essential oil in it. So it's a really feel good factor because of those wonderful soothing essential oils. And these are pure plant oils. They're not artificial fragrances. You don't want to use an artificial fragrance massage oil because it doesn't have any benefits on the body. So look for something like an aromatherapy pure oil that's blended into a carrier oil. So I'm just applying the oil over the area and the next thing I'm going to do is our first movement. So working with my fingertips up the spine, I'm using the whole palms of my hands and I'm linking my thumbs because that helps to control my movement. And this movement in massage therapy is called effleurage and it helps to warm the area and prepare the body. So coming up, index fingers either side of the spine, coming over the trapezius, around the shoulders and down the sides of the back. And up again. And this is a great way to start the relaxation process for the one you love. Up and over the trapezius and then around the back. And you can do this as many times as you like. But really try and use an even pressure throughout the whole of your hands. Don't put all the pressure on your fingertips and come up this major muscle, which is the erector spinae muscle. So next we want to come into the shoulder area. And this is where a lot of us hold a lot of tension in the body. So we're going to do like a small movement now, just on the upper shoulder area. And come in with a little bit more pressure into our fingers and here around the scapula bone. So I'm using a bit more pressure and coming around that area. So bringing more blood to the area, draining away more toxins, and helping to bring relief to this area because this is where we hold all that stress and tension, particularly if we work at desks and bend over our desks most of the day. There's a lot of repetitive stress in this area. So I'm coming over and building in that pressure. Again, you can repeat as many times as you want. Now I actually want to come in and do what we call a ringing movement. So I'm going to actually pick up the muscle with my hands and squeeze it and alternate that squeezing with my hands. And this feels fantastic. 
wringing, like wringing someone's neck. <laughs> but it feels really, really good to work on this muscle because there's so much tightness in here. There's a lot of lactic acid, a lot of crystals form within the muscles. So by doing this, I'm really bringing a lot of relief to that area. Working on one side of the trapezius, and then instead of taking my hands off, because you should try and keep your hands on, I'm moving now to the other side. I'm wringing this area. So we've done effleurage, that stroking movement of the whole back. We've then worked on just the upper back and shoulders, and now we're wringing the area, picking up that trapezius muscle. So what I'm actually doing with this wringing type movement, let me show you closer. My hands are in front of that shoulder, that trapezius muscle. My thumb is behind and I'm doing a circle, but I'm actually picking up and sort of seizing the muscle. So one hand and then the other. And I'm alternating that ringing movement. You don't want it to be light like this. That's actually more irritating than it is soothing. You actually want to be firm and pick up that muscle, wringing it, bringing blood to the area to break down that lactic acid. So you're gonna keep doing this movement for a few minutes and you can work the whole back area, always light touch over the spine, around the scapula and then back up to that area. Next, we're gonna do something called thumb frictions. And what this simply is, is you're just stroking here with the fingertips on this side of the trapezius, but you're doing all of your deep movements with your actual thumbs. They're thumb rotations or thumb frictions. And this is where you're gonna feel those lumps and bumps and all of those tension knots up here in this main area. So this is when you're gonna find that knot and actually massage it and help to break it down. Basically those knots are bundles of, of muscle fibers and lactic acid. So by massaging the area and massaging on the actual knots, you're helping to break them down by bringing more blood flow to the area to drain that lactic acid away. Not too hard, use your pressure as you build into the circle and then lightly coming back and soothing over that whole area using your thumbs as tools to break down those knots in that neck and shoulder region. Not pressing directly onto the spine, either side of the spine with the thumbs and coming again into that trapezius area. Now whenever you've done deeper work on this area, you wanna come back in and soothe it. So we're gonna repeat that upper effleurage movement now to soothe that area and drain away that lactic acid and those toxins. So four very, very easy movements for you to be able to do at home. So let's put it all together now to show you the complete routine. So starting lower on the back, using both hands, coming up the spine, equal pressure throughout the hands, over the shoulders, around the front of the shoulders, down the sides of the back, up again, thumbs can be linked, coming back, then we came in and we worked on that trapezius muscle and we squeezed it. And we just then worked on that upper shoulder area. We're then gonna wring the back and wring the shoulders by picking up and squeezing the muscles. Never taking our hands off the back. Keeping it very fluid and with great movement. Keeping our pressure even. And then coming in for our thumb frictions. A 
And then again, soothing the upper back area with that effleurage movement again. And then finally, before you leave the body, you're just gonna finish with those long stroking movements, getting lighter and lighter as you finish off. And then as your final movement, just gently stroke down with your palms down the erector spinae muscle, getting lighter and lighter with your touch. And then gently lifting off your fingers. And there you have some easy massage techniques.